Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu What happens to the soul once a person dies and if someone is destined to suffer the pains in the grave, does his body suffer or does his soul suffer? Jazakumullah khair. That's another very important question. Also, the same introduction that I, I, I would like to say is that the answers for these questions have to be from revelation because we don't know. So it has to be from revelation. If someone has given you an answer and it's not from revelation, it's a problem. So getting back to what happens to the soul, the soul leaves the body. The hadith speaks of it getting to a place known as barzakh. Barzakh is a, is a place where the, these, these arwah are kept, these ruhs or these souls are kept. Uh, waiting for the last day a person who's had goodness and so on the days pass and like a flash a person who's perhaps been a bad person it may pass a little bit slower but getting to the second part of the question the first part was where do the souls go they go into barzakh what exactly is the whole description of barzakh i have to stop where the quran and the sunnah have stopped we cannot describe beyond a certain point i will tell you look it's a waiting place it's the souls do not come back to greet the family members every year you need to know that some people say okay every year the soul comes back salam alaikum how are you some people say the soul comes back to us and cleans the home and some people say the soul comes back and does this and does that and i feel it those are you know, jinn sometimes. Those are the devil sometimes. Those are the Qareen sometimes. That's something else. Those are spirits known as spirits in some traditions. But it's not the soul we're talking about. It's not the individual. They don't come back to you and say, hey, how's it guys? Salaam alaikum. I remember one person says, I can make your grandfather talk to you. And then uh, the, the, the brother says, I, I went to the man and I said, okay, let me talk to him. And he says, I heard my grandfather's voice. I promise you it was my grandfather. Brother, they are fooling you with the jinn. They are fooling you with, the, with all these Qareens. Don't be fooled. The, the, the souls are gone to a place known as Barzakh. That's it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. When it comes to the connection of the soul and the body, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets the body feel the punishment together with the soul in a way that he knows fit that we don't know the explanation of. That's what it is. So when we say adabul qabr and the punishment of the qabr, it is a reality and it is felt body and soul. How? I don't know. Allah knows I stop at that and I believe it because I cannot add or subtract. I have to say, Ya Allah, one day, well, I don't even want to be, be shown it because I don't want to be a part of it. But one day, if you want, if you are curious, perhaps if you get to the other side, you can ask, say, Ya Allah, how did you do that? How was it? For now, it's called belief. We believe in the unseen. Someone might say, well, these people, their bodies were, you know, lost or their bodies were perhaps disintegrated because of something. And how would they be punished? Well, I still believe if Allah wants, he will do it and he will do it exactly that way. How he does it, he knows best. That's how we stop. In this way, you protect yourself, you protect your Iman. When we want to go into deep details that are not in the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah regarding Imaniyat and matters of belief, we tend to burn our fingers. When we burn our fingers by starting to add extra, uh, you know, cream on the, on, on the cake and something which is not supposed to be, that's when we falter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and may He make us from amongst those who do not become so inquisitive that we start asking, you know, questions that are part and parcel of where we're supposed to have stopped in terms of belief. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. I just want to clarify that last point. What this means is, yes, you are allowed to ask questions and you're allowed to ask any question you want under the sun. But if the answer of the, of the question is not found in revelation and that question is connected to belief, then just stop there and say, look, Allah knows best. That's it. And you will save yourself. Thank you so much, sister.